A Virginia lawmaker is introducing new legislation to help stop sexual assaults on college campuses across the Commonwealth. Ten Year Side has been covering this story for months now. We've talked to victims and activists trying to make a difference. Ten on your sides. Andy Fox is here now with more on the latest push to keep students safe. Andy. Well, Stephanie, here's what Delegate Eileen Fillercorn's legislative bill will do, and she's hoping that it passes in January. It will require reporting of campus sexual assaults by campus and local law enforcement to the local Commonwealth's attorney within 48 hours of the attack. That is not the law now, and advocates for this type of legislation say it is long overdue. When she reported it to the school campus police, uh, they waited 10 days to even interview him, so all forensic material was lost. That's what happened in 2004 to Susan Russell's daughter, Catherine, who was raped in her UVA campus apartment by a man led in by one of her roommates. He was not drunk and she was not drugged. I had to go to my dean three times to report it. I had to work with the school repeatedly to try to get them to, to go forward, and um, I was dissuaded at every turn. That will not happen if Delegate Eileen Fillercorn's bill becomes law. It will require sexual assault reporting to Commonwealth's attorneys. That will expedite the investigation, promote information sharing, ensure proper course of action, ensure legal filings are completed. That is not happening now. If you don't get that forensic evidence within the first 72 hours, the Commonwealth attorney will not take the case because there's nothing to prosecute. It becomes a he said, she said case. In her news release, Delegate Fillercorn says her bill is designed to encourage a thorough investigation and promote information sharing to stop sexual predators from jumping from campus to campus. I asked CNU President Paul Tribble, whose wife was a victim of rape, about legislation that requires mandatory reporting of sexual assaults to Commonwealth's attorneys. Should that be a law? I don't have any problem with that, um, but it's not going to achieve any result unless the victim is willing to step forward and the people can be prosecuted. When Susan Russell's asked for advice for victims of sexual assault, she tells them what a victim should do. She should contact the local police and the campus police and she should make the call to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office because if that call is not made for her by either the campus or local police, uh, time is wasted in forensic collection. Yeah, she's saying make sure you make the call. I emailed CNU President Paul Tribble about this new legislation. He wrote back, he believes this new legislation honors their responsibility to victims. So it sounds like he absolutely supports it. He also wrote, more importantly also, he has asked Delegate Chris Jones and State Senator Tommy Norman to offer legislation requiring schools to prominently display on academic transcripts that students have been dismissed and or suspended and the reasons why, so that there is a a following of exactly what happened and why that student may have left the school. Andy, I understand this is not the first time, though, that this delegate has has put this bill, you know, before yeah. lawmakers. That's so right. she did the same bill back in 2012, and no one was paying attention. It died in committee, but things have happened. We've had mm -hmm. Jesse Matthew. We've had all of the events in Charlottesville. We've had UVA. We've had the Rolling Stone article. Right. We've had reporters like me covering this and really bringing attention to this. And now all of a sudden she's putting it back in and there getting is attention. All, it's getting a lot of attention and she's hoping this time it passes. General Assembly begins in January. We will be on this and we will keep you informed about it. All right. We'll wait and see. Thank you, Andy Fox, for following that for us. And this story doesn't end right here. It continues on wavy.com.